Start with a square of side length 1 and cut it into 25 congruent squares. These 5 here represent 1 -fifth of the area, and therefore 4 copies of that shape represents 4 times 1 -fifth, or 4 fifths of the area. If we shade 4 of the 5 remaining squares, we then shade an additional 4 times 1 over 25 of the original area. But then we can repeat this process on the inner square, first shading an area of 4 times 1 over 125, and then shading an area of 4 times 1 over 5 to the 4th. If we continue this process indefinitely, we keep shading areas of size 4 times 1 over 5 to the n. To make sense of the infinite sum given here, we can imagine the limiting process. In the limit, the shaded area will equal the area of the square, and that means the infinite sum, which is the limit, is equal to the area of the square, which is 1. But that means that 4 times the infinite sum of the powers of 1 fifth is 1, and this means 0 0.4 repeating in base 5 is 1, or the infinite sum of the powers of 1 fifth is equal to 1 fourth. 